All right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight clash between Nick Diaz and Michael Chiesa. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And you talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the Kings. Representing Stockton, California. Ah, yes, here is Nick Diaz. Some people wondered if we'd ever see him make this walk again. Good to see Nick Diaz making the walk to the Octagon team. From the 209, which you are also gracefully representing with that tattoo. But Nick Diaz was the start of the Diaz dynasty. A guy that went out there every time and just gave it his all. His first round, one round fight with Paul Daly back in strike force oh. is still believed to be the greatest one round championship fight in history. Willing to go through the fire in order to make you engage him in the type of fight that he wants. He has phenomenal boxing and also a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Beat Paul Daly and then returned to the UFC at UFC 137 to defeat BJ Penn at the time. His 11th straight win, the wildly popular Nick Diaz back for more tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Chiesa is 32, Diaz is 37. Chiesa is one inch taller, Diaz will have a one inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is one round in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 18 wins, six losses. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Spokane Valley, Washington. Ladies and gentlemen, he is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Michael Maverick Chiesa. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 11 losses, and two no contests. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, USA, Nick Diaz! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? You ready? All right, folks, fasten your seat belts. This could end up being a very technical, very entertaining fight. I'm surprised they didn't bring out the keys for this one, Shane. I mean, you would have thought as a jiu-jitsu watcher that you would see these two competitors at a jiu-jitsu competition. But ultimately, they are meeting in the octagon, and you are about to see jiu-jitsu in the UFC like we've never seen before. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is flowing. Like in a zone, it's like the basketball he become twice his size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Kiesa gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here though. Oh, now he's got the tie plumb, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai plan. Is in a single collar tie here. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at the turtle in that kick. Connects with a right. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. And both guys really throwing with authority. 
Five single collar tie now. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Big punch lands in the middle. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. Kies is nicely done as he gets the double leg takedown. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Diaz gets up, he is back on the feet here. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Battling for hooks. And they separate. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Just a slip there. Now connects with a right. Grips the body there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Got the single collar tie. Oh, the elbows are razor sharp, as is the accuracy rate for him tonight. I mean, he is throwing these elbows in combination. It's unbelievable. Do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back in range. And he landed the right hand there. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Single collar tie now. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Diaz. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Again, back into this position. Lands a punch. Single collar tie here. Big kick land. Throws the right hand there. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in the jiu-jitsu guy's guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangle. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Oh, collar tie. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Ooh, big shot land. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Yes, it gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. He's 
throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Fighters exchange in the pocket here. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, don't you? You love that jab. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Nice kick. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down from the head and land a beautiful punch to the head. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Oh, wow, his leg kicks are already taking effect. Kiesa's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big punch land. Ooh. Right hand upstairs. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. This guy did not miss the head with his strikes. Again, they clinch. Lands with the right hand. Ooh. Able to land with the lead uppercut there. He looks like Pac-Man. He's taking so many strikes to the head. Just out of range with that right hook. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Good stick. All right, single collar tie now. Right hook to the head block. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Diaz. Not there. Another one. Yep. Up oh, and the left hand. Oh, that kick is good by Kiesa. Lands the right hand. All right, so he lands another hook. He's already landed several in the round. That one might have been the most significant. That was the best one. What I like about him throwing this punch over and over again, he just has a fantastic ability to land that punch. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, is the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent. You gotta be aware when you're just chest in this 50-50 position. Try to establish that jab. A oh, little single collar tie there, and they separate. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Nice straight punch. Single collar tie. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the oh, Great technique on the overhand. Now he's hooked. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, they can end the night that will be the right. Well, his wrestling has been a great equalizer thus far in his UFC career and gets the single leg takedown. And you know that it's his shot. It's his shot of choice, a single leg takedown, and he's securing it, and he's doing it and scored it over and over. Gets up again here, but hurt. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering, nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, man, he put on the best poker face he could there, but he is just getting punished continuously by that hook. He is getting dominated with one singular strike. It's amazing to watch. Truly a great performance by this young fighter. Nice punch lands over the top. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC, connected with it there. He's throwing so many left jabs. To throw that right punch right down the pipe, it's unreal. Single collar tie now. 
Nice stick to the body. Way to mix up the target. Yes, it gets the tie clinch here. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up. Keep oh! Oh! oh. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive double Oh, he might be out. Nice. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press this. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Whoa! What a throw! favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as he gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Ooh. Oh, DC, he massive, is hurt. massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Yes, it goes for the clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stunned. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that hit. Oh, I did, because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Just misses there with the left. Oh! Zeus hurts. Serve him up. Oh! We'll get him. Here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Close guard. Diaz is back in half goal. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Beautiful hand skills here. The right then the left. Yes, it gets cut. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. What a performance. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest. Playing the winner by knockout, Nick Diaz! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public Tonight he did exactly that, congratulations.